Hello everyone, Shua Legra here. Um, if you're new to me, I'm the author, I'm an author, a speaker, life coach, and also a counselor. Um, I'm the founder of Grace and Hope Consulting, and today is actually a day seven of uh, Count Your Blessings mini challenge. So the past seven days, I've been sharing um, strategy tips and a few encouragements uh, and nuggets to help you cultivate an attitude of gratitude, help you count your blessings. So if you're just now catching this video on here, because um, the past six days we've been doing an audio form and they're all on my um, on my podcast. And I'll share the link here if you want to we you know go back and listen to you know day one for day six. It's going day seven will also be there um, as the audio as well. But I decided for day seven to do this as a video because I wanted to make this available here on this platform as well, and um, and because of all the tips and strategies that I'll be sharing today. So if you hear me talking about it's day seven, that's you no. Know, so you can kind of get the background story of how we got to day seven. But I will put, I said, I will post the link for in the comments here, in the description for you to catch up on all the day, all the entire um, mini challenge. And for you no, know, if you, for those who need the, re the written uh, content, if you rather read it or need that for uh, accessibility needs, we also have all the blog posts on um, my website, which is Grace and Hope Consulting. And I will post the link to the blog post and you can see all the dates on there. Um, as well. So welcome to day seven of Count Your Blessings uh, mini challenge. So we've been talking a lot about gratitude in the past, um, well actually the past month. Um, if you follow my page on Grace and Hope Consulting on Facebook, we've been talking about gratitude all day, all month. And we've been talking about it also in our women's group. The, the group on Facebook is called Women Achieving Mental and Emotional Wellness. So all along, um, this month, throughout the month, we've been, you know, sharing encouragement and strategies and giving you reasons why to be grateful and how gratitude benefits you more than you might realize. So as part of this mini challenge, the past seven days, we kind of looked the first day, we looked at what a difference a bit of gratitude makes. Kind of talk, we talked about the impact of gratitude, the benefit that we reap as, you know, we embrace gratitude. And then on day two, I shared how you can start and end your day by counting your blessings and how that actually helps you. We talked about starting small, adding it to an you know, existing routine that you might already have, um, and then maybe creating some visual reminders and then also practicing how to turn it around, how if you have something that might not be so, uh, that you might consider as a negative thing, you know, something attacked, something rough, how can you can change that negative into a positive so that you can be grateful for it, uh, for, either for it or for things around it or related to it. Um, so that was day two. On day three, we talked about how to enforce your gratitude habit of a small journal. I share the benefit of journaling and how keeping a journal helps you not just in the moment so that you can be more intentional and mindful, excuse me, about you know what you're grateful for, but also helps you to keep track of those things so that on those days when you need a reminder that you know you can open up that journal and be reminded and confident knowing that um things might be going better than you expected, that, you know, it, you are doing okay. Um, although sometimes it might not feel like it because life can get tough, right? We talk about different ways to keep a journal. If you don't like to write or, you know, writing is a challenge, there, you know, you can keep a audio, you know, uh, recording, you know, keep recording your voice. You can do video as I'm doing right now. You can draw. Um, you can do however you want to keep track of the things you're grateful for. That's the whole purpose of it. And I share for those who of us who like to journal right on paper, um, I actually just have a uh, new gratitude journal that just came out this week. And I've been, I, I've been sharing about that. So I'll share the link as well. But it's, um, it's bit.ly, bit so B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash gratitude journal uh, 2019. I'll, put, I'll post all those links in the description so you have it. Um, so then on day four, I believe, yeah, we talked about how to use meditation and affirmation um, to, and how to use gratitude, meditation, and affirmation to boost your spirit anytime. You know, we talk about, you know, what are meditation, what are affirmations, what, how to use them, and how they can benefit you. And on day, 
uh, five, we talked about, how, you know, the benefit of finding, so the benefit in the practice of finding something random in your environment to be grateful for. And if you did not listen to that episode, I really, really, really encourage you to go, you know, on the podcast, uh, which is anchor.com forward slash Shua Allegra. And on there, I talk about um, how I've, this practice literally took, got me out of depression. Uh, about 11 years ago, or maybe more, um, I was so depressed. I couldn't find beauty in myself. I couldn't find beauty in my life. Like, for me, life was just tough and everything was just annoying and overwhelming and frustrating. And my therapist suggested, it's like, hey, why don't you just start finding, you know, trying to look around you and trying to find beautiful things that, you know, around you, things that make you think of beauty. And I st- I, it went from, you know, I did a lot of nature stuff mostly, but I took pictures of, you know, uh, butterflies and plants. And I, I, I saw spending more time at the creek and just taking pictures. And up to this day, I still have that full album all those pictures I kept them and I shared them with my clients now like I too was a patient one time I too was a client one day and I sat in the exact same chair you know um being the one receiving the therapy and needing you know needing the encouragement and this is a strategy that helped me and now I share with people and for doing that it helped me when I couldn't find beauty in myself and in my life I found beauty outside of me and I realized that if you know life is beautiful then my life can also be beautiful um so anyway so you can go listen to the episode i I can go on and on about that so then on day six so should have been like yesterday if you're following for for the challenge on day six we talked about how to show your gratitude with words and why it's important we talked about you know how writing has power and how sharing gratitude strengthens your bonds with people that you you know you uh, you care about so those relationships get strengthened when we are grateful for them and we you know, express it, you know, instead of keeping it inside of us. And I'll say, share a few ideas how to get started with that. So if you, you know, again, if you didn't listen to um, day one for day six, please go back. And if you need to read it, again, it's on the on the website, graceandhopeconsulting.com forward slash blog. And again, I will post all those links in the description so you have it. Um, so today we're talking about day seven. It's the end of the challenge, but I hope it's not the end yet. This is it over, right? Gratitude is something should be a daily practice, something that you practice daily in order to reap its benefits. So uh, November, the challenge will be over. November will be over. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, right? It'll come and go. But I want you to remember to be grateful every single day. And if you've been following the challenge, you know it's for your own benefit first. If you can't be grateful for anything, do it for you, right? Do it for your own sake if you need, you need that encouragement. But we've come to the end of a mini challenge where we've, we've covered quite a bit of information, actually. And we've learned, you know, why acknowledging and embracing and expressing gratitude is so important. We covered all of that. Uh, we also learned a few specific ways, you know, that you can begin to practice gratitude in your own life. Um, so for this day, for day seven, I'd like to expand on that as we end our challenge and kind of give you, provide some more in-depth list of helpful tips, you know, to tap into the power of being grateful. So these ideas are ways that you can tap into this power of being grateful as you move forward, like things that you can do day in and day out in the good day and the bad days to keep, you know, being grateful, to keep practice, practicing great, uh, gratitude. And side note, before I forget, if you did not catch my, I was, I was live on YouTube yesterday and I shared three ways to be grateful for the tough stuff, for the hard things. Um, if you missed that, you know, go on YouTube, you can see, and I can share the link on different uh, social media platforms as well, because I think it's easy to be, it's easier to be grateful when things are going well, when things are going as expected, you know, when the money's rolling, the bills are paid, the, everyone is well, the kid, no one is sick, right? The car is running. It's great. It's easy to be grateful, but how can you, when, but we know life doesn't always run like that, right? We all have our moments. We all have things in the life that we'll you know, consider as things that are challenging, things that are frustrating, things that might be annoying, you know, but how can you be grateful? grateful in the midst of all of that now that we know that gratitude is so so crucial it's so beneficial to you i want you to be practicing that every day so when life gets tough when those hard things happen how can you keep being grateful so again share watch that video i'll post the link as well you have all these links to go back to 
aren't you grateful for me? <laughs> I'm grateful for you, for you being here, you know, being the reason why I do what I do. Uh, and I hope that the things that I share are things that are impactful and meaningful in your life as well. So here are some tips for moving forward, the ways, yeah, ways that you can keep practicing gratitude day in and day out. Number one, take a gratitude walk. Going for a walk is a great way to release stress, right? And kind of gives you a you know, new perspective. I remember um, when I used to have my office right on Front Street in Harrisburg, and I could see the river like you know, from the building, from the office. And I used to be very intentional about in between sessions, before session, before my meetings, to just go for a walk by the river. And I, I walked, you know, sometimes to pray, I walked to think, I walked to strategize, you know, what support someone might need, um, to think about project, projects that I was working on. But also, it's a good way to start, you know, just thinking or focusing on gratitude as you walk. Um, and walking, honestly, if you're doing it, if you got intention about it, like you're walking to focus on one thing, it can actually be considered a form of meditation. You know, if you're walking to focus on your gratitude, you know, you can be meditating as you're walking, right? And it's really a, a very fabulous way to focus uh, on gratitude when you do that. So when you, if you, when you do a gratitude walk, pay attention to special things, you know, that you encounter along the way, things that you see, maybe chances you'll discover plenty to be grateful for during your walk, you know, from the sun to the road that you're walking on, the view, right, nature around you, people around you, and more and more, the list go on and on, right? So I want to know, I encourage you to try that, try that this week, try to after eat your turkey after Thanksgiving, right? Take a gratitude walk. Um, another thing, another way you can practice gratitude, it's to, it's to make a gratitude collage. Um, and so this way, it's, it's a really fun way to like acknowledge your gratitude in a visual way. Like you kind of, it's the same process like with people who do vision board. If you're familiar with vision board, you collect, you know, images that, you know, focus on what your vision is going to be, what you want to focus on, what your goals and intentions are. Uh, with a gratitude collage, you cut out pictures from a magazine or add your personal photos even better and you you know lay out on the poster board or you get more you can get more creative and decorative you can even keep your board electronically you know like in the pinterest board right or you can do in the powerpoint or on the on the app on your phone uh, but the point here is to collect images that move you to consider how blessed you are to consider your blessing to consider the things that you're grateful for um and it's a good idea to put your board in a place where you can actually see it, right? Things, the place that you can access it daily. So if it's on your phone, make sure you have like a shortcut to, you know, to your main screen there, your homepage, so you can see it. You may even, you know, find yourself adding to it, you know, as, as the days go on. You will find more things to be grateful for. Another way to practice gratitude is to hold a Friendsgiving, right? You probably heard this term. So Friendsgiving is just like Thanksgiving, but only it's with friends. So kind of your chosen family and so your biological family. I want you, if you're able, to enjoy your biological family as well. But, excuse me, but with Thanksgiving, you're kind of more intentional about reaching out to people who are not forced to be there with you, you know, or like you don't feel, and they shouldn't be feeling like they're forced to be there with you because they're your, they're your blood relative, but they choose to be there. And you can kind of, in that gathering, be grateful for each other, be grateful for those friendships. Um, and this can all, can, it's very beneficial for those of us who might not have family who are physically nearby, or maybe we have family, but they're not emo emotionally close to us, right? And kind of taking, you know, enjoying the blessing of friendship. and making it even you know a ritual where you know through those through those gathering during those gatherings that you are all sharing what you're grateful for you know so make it a gratitude party honestly like a get together when you remind you know you remind yourself and other and others you know of who, uh, what's important to you and what you're grateful for another way to practice gratitude is to look for gratitude in challenges like i shared you know with my whole my facebook life my sorry my youtube life yes yesterday how to find how to be grateful in the hard stuff you know so let think you know things happen well you probably know how easy it is to focus on the bad stuff because as human being you know it's easy for us to see what, what when things are not right you know quote unquote or things are not going the way we want to it's so easy to see that so sometimes we get stuck in that negative and, and it weighs us down. So it's natural, you know, 
for us to think that way, but we can also kind of disrupt, uh, disrupt that cycle. And it takes that conscious effort to do that. It takes work to do it, but it's work that's worth it. So I want you know, look at look at how you know, look at if you are dealing with some challenges, start looking at you know what lessons you're learning through that challenge, what what support you're receiving, um, and what strength even that you're gaining as you're going for that those challenge. Kind of find a silver lining there. And be sure to write them down in your gratitude journal. Like I said, I'll post the link if you want to grab that journal. Um, but that will that also, again, that will be a good way for you to keep track of those things that, you know, are hard. But a journal, journaling in itself is very therapeutic. And when you start journaling, doing gratitude journaling, it's even double the blessing. Because especially for those things that are hard, instead of just writing how, you know, something is frustrating, annoying, or not going the way you want, then you can start seeing the good in it, the good that's coming out of it. And not only that helps you feel more positive, but it gives you new perspective and it gives you the strength that you need, that focus and the momentum that you need to address that challenge. So let's look at one more. I mean, there's so many ways to practice gratitude. So I'm just sharing some ideas here, um, a few ideas. So the um, last one that I'm going to share today is helping others. Yes, one of the most impactful ways that you can gain perspective in life and be grateful for what you have is to help others in need. And not just others in need. And when people here in need, it's like, I'm going to help the poor less fortunate. No, I mean, we, all, we are all blessed in one way or another. With a person that has zero dollars in a bank account, you know, might have many blessings that, the, that someone else might not have. Right, so blessings are not all monetary blessings. So it's not about just helping someone in need. It just it's just helping others. Period. Just being intentional about serving others and how, as you do that, whether it's full formal, you know, a formal volunteering experience, you know, or it's just by simply doing something for a neighbor. While you do that, it did, you know, it, you reap the rewards when you know when you're pitching for someone else. You know, not only the person that you are helping feels blessed by that, and they can be grateful for you because of uh, you and what you've done to help them, but also as you are helping yourself, <laughs> you know, as you're helping others, you're still feeling more positive as well. It's, it's, it's a, it, you know, it's, it's a win-win for everyone, All right? So in a little, so in short, like I said, these are just extra more ideas for you to keep practicing gratitude as you move forward. And we talked about taking a gratitude walk, um, making a gratitude collage, holding a Friendsgiving, looking at gratitude and challenges and helping others. And again, these are just a few ideas to try. There's you know, lots and lots more. And I hope that you'll grab the journal because the journal gives you a hundred plus, I think the hundred of, you know, of uh, journaling prompts and tips and strategy and quotes for you to actually and you know and and uh, do you be to involve and practice this gratitude um so i i really encourage you to grab it grab it for yourself grab it for a friend i know christmas is coming grab it for everyone it's good for teens as well um my daughter my oldest is 13 and this is a journal that she's using as well so anyone honestly i'll say Anyone who's able able to read it, and not even just read, like someone can read for the person and still let them reflect on the prompt and you know interact with it. Like you get it, you know, you get it for um, get it, and then use it for one of the family gathering, one of your friends giving, and then just sharing the prompts and using that as conversation starters, and you know, using that as a way for everyone to cultivate the attitude of gratitude. All right, my friends, thank you again for being part of the challenge. But again, thank you. I am grateful for you. Thank you for being part of my life and being a blessing to me. I hope that this was a blessing to you as well. All right, take care.